On their way to distant food, they come across the corpse of another elephant. The bare skull lies separate from the skin-covered body. From the smell, Left Fang can probably recognize the remains. It is what is left of Himba's mother. The find fascinates them. Himba was just a few days old when she died. His grandmother is the only mother he's ever known. Elephants often linger, smelling and touching the bones. It's one of the things that make them seem so human. Twenty kilometers away, Rose's group is still hampered by the two young calves. Himba is hot, thirsty, and above all, hungry. He won't be able to eat even grass till he's at least three months. At six weeks, he remains entirely dependent on his adoptive mother. His real mother would keep her son within trunk reach in the shade of her body, and she would feed him every half hour. Rosa must eat as she is struggling to breastfeed two calves at the same time. The little calf is doing his best to stay near. Himba needs 15 liters of milk each day. He manages to snatch only a few mouthfuls. Rosa seems reluctant to suckle him. He's desperate for more. Himba is completely confused. Without milk, he won't last long. The calf's instinctive efforts to suckle lead only to rejection. Now the undersized orphan looks frightened of Rosa. For some reason, the aged female can't make enough milk. She may not be finding enough food or her teeth may be worn out. <laughs> 